eating disorders could be triggered by stress suffered in the womb and early life. That's the controversial new theory being investigated by Australian and Canadian doctors. Experts say the research could lead to potential new treatments and help identify who might be at risk of developing eating disorders. Medical reporter Sophie Scott has more. With society's focus on obesity, it's sometimes easy to forget that there's another diet-related health problem, the growing number of people with eating disorders. In the quest to find answers, experts are now turning to genetics, in particular, whether genes involved with eating disorders are turned on or off early in life. Mother's stress during gestation can be a factor, and particularly nutritional state can actually turn on genes or turn them off. Canadian expert Dr Howard Steiger says stress in early life can switch on certain genes, with dieting being the final trigger for conditions like anorexia nervosa. What they do that could be very pertinent for risk of eating disorders and people getting entrenched in eating disorders, and we hope also, uh, if we can reverse some of these processes, recovery from eating disorders. Scientists at Flinders University and the Murdoch Children's Research Institute are following the genetic changes in a group of patients with anorexia. They suspect that strict dieting influences genes which can lead to patients developing a full-blown eating disorder and that those genes turn themselves off once a patient starts to eat again. That would give us more information about things to look for in terms of potential medication solutions to helping people recover a bit more quickly. Experts say focusing on the physical and genetic causes of eating disorders could help take away some of the shame that patients feel about their illness. They don't develop eating disorders because their families are bad families or dysfunctional. People develop eating disorders because they carry real physical vulnerabilities that can, then get switched on or activated by the environment. Australian doctors hope to have the findings of their study by the end of the year. Sophie Scott, ABC News.